months old. Um, you get one and a half, two months essentially to yourself when you're back working out, getting ready for training camp. So it does grind on guys a little bit mentally and physically, and that's why it's so hard to continue to, to get to the finals every year. But, I mean, from what I've got here this season, I mean, the first road trip was a little, a little uh, quiet in the locker room, but since then it's been, it's been pretty good. I think the guys are, you know, joking around, smiling more, loosening up, because I think the light is there at the end of the tunnel and the playoffs are around the corner. What are your early takeaways playing with Kevin? He's arguably the best player in the world. You know, um, he's one of those guys that can go out there and get 40 or 50 on any given night, um, but I think he's trying to play you know, within the system as well, knowing that he has Steph and Clay and other guys, the Marcus that he needs to get going. But he's a, probably the most talented scorer I've, I've ever been around. I mean, Steph's obviously, um, the way Steph does it is it, it, it's kind of freaky, but, but Kevin just makes it look so easy because of his size and length. There's not much you can do about it when he gets hot. Are there times lately, it's like, almost like, you guys may need to continue to shoot more, or like, you know, I mean, that thing takes five shots, you have to um, balance is winning. I think Kevin knows that. I think Kevin's never been a guy since I've been around that's been, you know, coming in after game saying he needs more shots. I think, um, you know, this team. Why is there an echo? Is it just me? It's a speaker. It's a speaker yeah. Um, yeah, I think this team knows that. You know, there's four, four all stars, five all stars in the starting lineup. So. You can't all go out there and score 30. I think Kevin's been more than comfortable the last couple of games distributing a little bit more than, he, than he's used to. Um, but there's times where Steph will do that. Clay not so much because he shoots every time he touches it. Um, but DeMarcus distributes a fair bit as well. So I think it's, it's going to be a good balance. Obviously, there's going to be playoff games, but this is the last regular season. And games at Oracle. What, what's your thoughts about the building, having seen it at different stages of your career? Uh, awesome. I mean, um, you know, it hurts a little bit. You know, I'm not open, I'm not from Oakland or anything, but I feel, feel like I'm part of the Bay Area in a sense. Um, I still remember the first, you know, my first first full season here when we made the playoffs. We weren't supposed to, no one picked to see if we make the playoffs and we made the got the sixth seed and played Denver and I still remember we went one and one at Denver we split and I came back for that game three and our fans were literally in that building 90, 90 minutes to an hour before the game um, so our pre-game shooting was a sellout pretty much and they were chanting Warriors we were hearing from the locker room and it was just an awesome awesome atmosphere and you couldn't be happier for what those fans have experienced in a way because the 90s and the 2000s weren't too fine as far as